his most comprehensive interview, the Afghan President Hamid Karzai makes a stunning revelation that the Taliban chief Mullah Omar is in Pakistan. The Afghan President doesn't rule out that the dreaded terrorist is under protection in Pakistan. Where is Mullah Omar then? What is your information? Mullah Omar, yeah. to uh, the extent that we know, he's in Pakistan. Where in Pakistan is your information? That I don't know. There are reports that he's in Quetta? Well, these are speculations, but he probably is there. And he's in Pakistan under some form of protection? Definitely cannot be without protection. Why don't you confront the Pakistanis with We have discussed all these issues with the uh, with uh, uh, Pakistan, with uh, the government of Pakistan. We uh, uh, want the Taliban, uh, the Afghan Taliban, the Afghan Taliban, those who are seeking peace uh, to um, come back to their country. Uh, they, are, uh, they belong to Afghanistan and we must provide them all the assistance we can to, to bring them back to life. But those who are not Afghans, who are linked to terrorist organizations, that's a different matter. Uh, let, me, let me take you up on that, because uh, President Karzai, in August last year, you called upon Pakistan to help facilitate talks between you and the Taliban. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, I did. Are you in a damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of situation where you are compelled to rely on Pakistan in this negotiation with the Taliban, and you are also at the receiving end, along with India, with all these attacks which are allegedly ISI backed and lashkar e toiba backed. So, you know, do you believe, let me put it simply, that the ISI is using uh, at least the Taliban as a leverage with you uh, to broker a deal on its terms vis-a-vis -vis your country? Uh, Mr. Goswami, that's a very important question. And as I mentioned earlier, we want talks with Afghan Taliban, who are neither enemies of Afghanistan nor against India, nor against peaceful living, a peaceful living uh, in Afghanistan. But we know that talks with the Taliban alone will not bring us peace. Yep. We are in contact with the Taliban yep. on a daily basis. They come and approach to us, they talk to us, they want peace as well. The reason that we want Pakistan to be involved because that's where the uh, influence for peacemaking will eventually lie, uh, will eventually rest. Uh, so uh, Pakistan can make a great contribution to peace in Afghanistan and to security um, in the region, including Pakistan, including India. That's why we are uh, um, seeking Pakistan's help. That's why we uh, go to Pakistan uh, um, very, very often to seek peace. So for us, the crux of the matter is there, uh, that's recognized uh, nationally in Afghanistan as it is regionally. But can you trust them? You're trying very hard, Mr. Karzai. And, and sometimes I feel when I watch your speeches and your public statements, and in fact, some of your recent interviews, that you're almost at the end of your own patience. Uh, well, with, with the Pakistan, well, well, do you trust them? Well, 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 well if, if it becomes uh, patience as um, an individual uh, person, as a human being, that patience has run out a long time back. But then uh, we have um, uh, different uh, compulsions in life, uh, and those compulsions would uh, force us to uh, be patient and to keep seeking um, for as long as it takes uh, a solution um, through dialogue, through, through, through uh, friendly approaches and through, through contacts. We will continue to do that. Um, we see no alternative to that. Uh, the alternative to that is unfortunately worse. It, it's more chaos, it's more uh, bloodshed, it's more misery for, for the ordinary, ordinary people um, in this region who, who will suffer more. So we'll continue to be seeking uh, uh, peace, we'll continue to be seeking friendship with Pakistan, we'll continue to be seeking brotherhood with Pakistan.